in this video i'll show you how you can install deepseek locally on your android device that way you can run it locally without an internet connection and the best part is you don't have to send your data to deepseek servers in china let's get started the first thing you'll need to do is install an app called Termax. To do that, you simply go into your browser and search for Termax download. Once you're here, you are going to download FDroid here. After FDroid is downloaded, you are going to install and open it. Once it is opened, you are going to click on the search bar and search and install Termax. Once this is installed, you are going to open it. Once this one is opened, the first thing we'll do is upgrade and update our packages with the commands pkg update and then running the command pkg upgrade. This will just download the latest packages into our Termax app. Once this is done, I'm going to clear everything and then set up Termax storage with the command Termax setup storage. This will create a folder called storage in here. So I'm going to cd into that storage folder. This will be our working directory for now. Next, we need to install a few dependencies. So type the command pkg install git make libjpeg table and golang and click on enter. And this will basically install these packages git make libjpeg and golang into our Termax app. This might take a while depending on your internet connection. Just wait for it to be done. I think I misspelled golang here. Yes. So what I'm going to do is say pkg install go lang like this without the iphone and click on enter to install it properly all right i think now we have all the dependencies installed once everything is installed we are going to need to install olama olama is basically an app that we can use to manage our ai models so to install olama you are going to need to go to your browser you are going to need to go to google.com and in google you are going to search olama github and enter the first result once you are in github you are going to click on this code button here and in the drop down you are going to copy this link here and then go back to termax in termax we are going to say git clone dash depth one and then paste that link we copied this will basically clone olama into our local storage so once this is done when i click on ls i should be able to see this olama folder here so what i'll do is i'll clear everything and then i'll say ls and then cd into this olama folder here so i'll say cd or llama please know that our working directory is now storage slash olama so i inside the olama folder i'll clear everything and then run the command go generate once go is generated a folder will be created outside our storage folder here yeah. so if i say ls you'll see i have my go folder here yeah. so i'll say cd storage slash olama to get back to my working directory in here i will build olama with the command go build yeah, like this and basically this will start building it might take a while depending on the processor your phone is using so please make sure that you are using a recent device as you can see mine is already done so we'll go over to the next step i'll clear everything and i'll try to run olama with the command dot slash olama serve and then ampersand like this and basically this will start running olama locally once olama is running we now need to install deepseek because olama is now good so to install deepseek you are going to go back to your browser again in your browser you are going to go back to google and search for deepseek r1 olama yeah and then click on the first result in here you are going to see that you have a few models to pick from you have this one this is 1.5 billion parameters, 7 billion parameters, 8 billion parameters, and so on and so forth. So the smallest one is this one. Since I have a slow phone, my processor is not that recent. It's quite an old phone that I'm using. So I'm going to install the 1.5 billion parameters models and see how that runs. If it runs fast, I can download this one 
and try this one and try the rest but for now i'm gonna install this one so go down here and you'll see that this first one is 671 billion parameters so don't copy that one what you'll need to do is copy this one here Olama run deepseek r1 1.5 billion parameters you'll need to copy this and then go back to your termux and make sure that you are in this folder here and that deepseek is already running to install the r1 model you are going to say and then paste this link here you are going to say Olama run deepseek and then click on enter this will start downloading our model and once it is done you will be launched into deepseek here what i like to do here is disable my internet so that this one works offline once my internet is disabled i will say slash buy to close deepseek and clear everything and then to run deepseek again i'm going to say and then paste our command here which is olama run deepseek and then click on enter and this will start deepseek locally without a server so what i'll say for now is hi and wait for it to think hello how can i assist you today how can i increase my subscribers on youtube that's what i'd like to know and see what deepsea comes up with all right the users asking to increase oh and one thing that's unique to DeepSeek is that it's going to allow you to see the thought process behind its response. So here yeah, it's currently thinking. And finally, once it is done thinking, it will offer its response here. So the response starts here. Increasing your YouTube subscribers can be achieved through several effective strategies. Here are some methods you can try. One, increase your content output. This basically means I should make more videos. And as you can see, DeepSeek is running on our Termax here. You can use it for whatever you want and your data won't be sent to DeepSeek servers in China, which is very good if you are security conscious and need your privacy when engaging with AI models online. With that said, please like the video, subscribe, and let me know which video I should make in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.